Good morning, good morning, good morning. My paper tells me that it's Tuesday, so it must be Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Uh, right, so uh, we are on, this is all gone right. We are on uh, what happens next. Uh, some questions ask what happens next. Some questions ask you to say what happens next. You have to make a guess that is supported by the text. You can't just write anything. So, here we have, uh, Damash was practicing for his dance show, which was just days away. Just as he was mid-spin, a deafening wail of guitars came from next door, and Damesh stumbled. What do you think happened next? Why? So, the, they've got here, the, the answer they could have provided was, Damesh went uh, next door to ask the neighbours to keep the noise down because he couldn't focus on dancing. Uh, and you need to explain your answer. Um, you have to explain your choices uh, or, uh, based on what you've just read. Okay. Uh, so, the shoemaker was confused. He was sure he'd just made eight pairs of shoes, but now there are only seven. Just then, he noticed an elf dashing out of the open door with a shoe in each hand. What do you think the shoemaker did next? Why? He chased the elf because he wanted his shoes back. The explanation is backed up by the text. Um, is it? I'm not sure it is. I'm not sure it is. Uh, I, I think um, there's nothing in here that makes me think that that's definitely what he'd do. Uh, I think they could have explained it a bit better. I think that's a perfectly fine answer uh, because I think uh, whenever you're doing these sorts of questions, you've got to really draw on uh, what you know um, about stories. Um, if it's got elves in it, it's unlikely to have aliens, say. It's, it's a sort of a, um, a traditional tale of fairy story. And in those kind of things, often uh, elves and gnomes do get sort of chased by people. Uh, equally, I think if somebody had given the answer... Um, the, the shoemaker locked the door uh, and barred the windows because he didn't want the elf to come back the next night. That could have worked as well. So I think sometimes there is one, there's, there's often quite a few different answers. And as long as it's kind of in, in keeping, in tone with the story, then I think we're good. Uh, and in, in terms of sort of um, uh, Dimesh uh, going next door to talk to uh, this, this stereotypical guitar person here, um, yeah, again, because we're, 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 it's a story that seems realistic. He's practicing for, for a sort of a... Uh, a dance show, there's guitars playing. Again, it's unlikely that there's going to be elves in this sort of story. It's unlikely there's going to be aliens. So the answer you'd, you'd give would be one that is realistic. Uh, I mean, equally, you could say uh, Damesh uh, might turn up his music. And if he's practicing dancing, he might be listening to music. They might sort of see whose music can get louder and get everyone very cross with each other. Um, he might know the neighbour. The neighbour might be his friend, for all we know. He might be able to just sort of uh, drop, him, drop him a text or a phone call or something. Um, so, you know, uh, it's or, or maybe they, they team up. Maybe they team up. And uh, the chap with the guitar can uh, sort of, sort of play some music for Dimesh to dance to, so that you know everybody everybody wins. I think oh, any of those would uh, be good answers because they are in keeping with they're the right sort of answer that, that goes with those texts. So um, yeah, you do need to explain your answer, but often uh, I think the explanation is because it is that kind of a story. Because I know uh, from the guitar and the dancing, it's, it's a modern, realistic story. I know from the elf and the shoemaker. I mean, it's not profession you really get anymore. Shoes are made in factories on the whole. So you know it's sort of olden days. Uh, you know it's sort of fairy story. So you kind of whatever you're going to come up with needs to be in keeping with, uh, with the type of story it is. So, right, on the other side, uh, on page 67 here, what happens next? Read the pieces of writing below and answer the questions. Uh, uh, Roshini had always loved diving and exploring the mysteries of the sea. Today the water was especially clear, which made the colourful seabed seem even more magical than usual. Roshini was about to swim back to the surface when something gold and shiny caught her eye. Okay, so the questions are, what do you think uh, Roshini did next? Why? Uh, again, for this one, th 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 there's so many different answers you could come up with that would work, but you've just got to kind of think... What sort of a story is it? What sort of a story is it? And, and you know, um, keep the tone similar, I guess. Uh, and then the, the, the bottom bit, plastic can be very useful, but scientists have recently realised it's seriously damaging the oceans. For example, when plastic shopping bags are thrown away, they can end up in the ocean where birds and fish may eat them. Question two is, what do you think people might start doing more now? Why? Again, lots of different things, but think, think about the tone that's written in. Think about the tone that's written in. Top one is a story, you know, about diving. 
um, the bottom one uh, is, is sort of more factual about plastics. So whatever, whatever your answers are going to be, keep them in tone with that. Okay, there we go. I'll pop back in a minute or two, however long it takes you to write, or an hour. You can spend a long time writing it very slowly and carefully uh, if you want. Uh, and I'll get some answers and a challenge. Everyone's, uh, yeah, keeping safe and well, and we shall see you soon.